tell. And I'm like, okay, you know, is it tomorrow night to fight? They're like, no, run your bags upstairs. You got 10 minutes. We got to get to the venue. It starts at seven. It's already 6.30. I'm like, Jesus. So there's no rules meeting then. All right, go ahead. No rules meeting. No, I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm, I got myself into. And I'm, I'm in this situation because my wife called me a pussy. Um, if I had it to do all over, I'd rather just be a pussy. Men have done worse things when your wives yeah. have said things like that. So, I mean, let's, no, but I mean, let, let's let me put ask that you, in proper context. Let me ask you, Nick. So, you were wrestling. You, you got, you know, a, a decent training camp, especially for those days. What, what, were, what were you weighing, 220? No, I was a little big for that one. I was probably 250. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. That's uncomfortable in, 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 in the back of the airplane. But, yeah, yeah, 250. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't dainty. Um, that's for sure. So basically, um, we had 10 minutes to run our stuff upstairs. The, the driver of the, the van said, hey, friend, listen, you are sick. You need to go jump in the sea. And, and I'm speaking with a weird accent. I don't know if that's my Israeli accent. but, <laughs> but um, The best we're going to get out of you. Yeah, yeah that's the best you're going to get. But jump in so the I sea. ran upstairs. I put on my, my spandex shorts. I put on my wrestling shoes. Um, a knee pad and I had a jacket and a, a jump rope so I came back downstairs he's like no go jump in the sea the ocean so in the back of our hotel was the Mediterranean Sea and I ran out there and I jumped in I took my shoes off but I had my you know fighting shorts on and whatnot but I jumped in there and I swear to gosh it was like a, an elixir it made me feel so much better um, really well it was cold. It was refreshing. It was good. Uh, the salt water. So I'm running now with my shoes. I'm wet with my hair, <laughs> my pants. You know, I have no. Dude, they must have thought there was a mental patient that they picked up. <laughs> hey, no. you know, as it turns out, the driver gave you good advice. Jump in the sea. Coleman wouldn't have told you to jump in the sea. No, <laughs> probably <laughs> accidentally. It's accidental good advice. Yeah, it, you know, in hindsight, I'm glad he wasn't there. I, I, <laughs> yeah. My first round match. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, all right. Let's let's talk about kind of like, God, you know, man. how we got here. Let's so, talk about how we got. But like, what did you eat? Did you eat on the airplane? Did they have food for you? Anything like that? Or are they taking? We're you hydrating with orange juice. That's kind of where I where I'm at with this. You know what? I I took sips of water, maybe orange juice. Um, I do remember one time I went to go check on Zane and uh, um, Joe, Joe, Joe Charles. Uh, and I saw them like, you know, finishing their filet mignon with the uh, flight attendants massaging. <laughs> and, and then I got shooed back to the back, like go back that there is. and eat your uh, corn dog. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know. I probably had a corn dog and a orange juice and a water in me at this point. Now you get, okay, Airplane you get to the airport. You go to your hotel, now you get to the venue. What's your impression of Frederico Lapenda at this point, who happens to be the promoter of the event? So Frederico, I did meet in New York and I got to talk to him and he was cool. Um, I love Frederico. He uh, he was my quarter man, honestly. Yes, yes, he was. All of my fights for that one. And, you know, he gave me good wisdom. Uh, it was my first fight. And, you know, he's like, take the guy down. You know, he's going to like um, scramble after he gets taken down because he's scared. Let him like wiggle himself out and, you know, calm down and then unleash the ground and pound, which was good advice because had he not said that, I probably would have taken him down and then just started flailing and I would have lost position. He would have escaped and then I'd have been in bigger trouble. But it, he was honestly, you, you know, and you're joking about Coleman not being a go, good corner man. But uh, friend Rico was an awesome quarter man. Um, really? He, yeah, he had everything figured out. He's like, I took him down. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, slow down. Just just hold your position, hold your position. He's like, and, and my thing back then is I didn't mind being in somebody's guard when headbutts were allowed. Um, I think when headbutts were not allowed, that changed the sport quite a bit. But 